Hey guys, and welcome back to The Thing. When we last left off, we were leading these bunch of idiots around. We were opening some doors, getting everybody rearmed and well-equipped. And now, it's time to come through here and rescue this next dude on the list. Evening, Chief. How are you doing there, my friend? Yeah, looking a little bit worried. You good? Nope, you're not good. You are one of them. Well, that's okay. We can cook your ass. That's no problem. Alright, uh, not bad, man. Not bad. However, which one of you shot me in the back? Come on, was it you? Aiming at my cheeks? It's not very kind, is it? You better do. Dig that bullet out that you just put in there. Now, this is the exit to the level. Looks like I need an access code. We do indeed need an access code. That is probably going to be somewhat problematic. I might be able to deactivate the security gate with the correct switch sequence. I think we can. And the correct sequence is thus. Alright. So what kind of Mickey Mouse bullshit have we got going on in here? Let's switch up to a weapon. Come on, dude. You're not getting paid by the hour. Right, looks like we got some... Ooh, anything. We got some uh, cloud virus in here. That's fine. Hose them down. And whilst we're here, we'll help ourselves to some medikits. You alright there, guys? You good? Someone been hitting the source? Pull yourselves to... Ooh. Say, pull yourselves together. Did someone just barf that up? No, seriously. All right, whatever. We don't know. So, Sell, Steinberg, Curtis, Hansen, Raybold, Rowlands, Fisk, Woolley, Stanmore, Turner, and Blake. Okay. Got to find Whitley. Yeah, Whitley was not amongst the names, strangely. So... Another note here from Faraday. I'm getting incredibly worried about the mental state of Commander Whitley. I believe that he was inject uh, that he injected himself with the B4 strain of the cloud virus, even after I personally refused him after the tests. I currently have him under observation, and his behaviour is becoming unpredictable. In addition to this, I'm getting varied reports about his behavior from different security personnel. I'm not sure whom to trust on this and may have to issue a request for termination if things get out of hand. The experiments on test subject 84, uh, 874 Blake have proved inconclusive, but there seems to be a minute trace of cellular anomaly that could be related to the cloud virus. I will need to do further tests as the subject has had an unusual amount of exposure to the virus in its many forms. So, which cell was that? Can we not? I guess we can't retry. All right. Okay. Guys, stay down here a minute. I'm going to go check the cells. See what we can't find. Evening. You right there, Chief? Ah, Stanmore. You gonna come, quietly? You right there, dude? You good? Oh! You're not good, are you? No, of course you're not good. Why... Oh, God. Why would you be good? You're one of them! Well, have a flaming death. Son of a bitch. Come back to daddy, whilst I administer your cure. What do you mean you hate your job? I'm enjoying myself today. Right, this guy. Well, I don't think we want to let this guy out. This guy is pretty serious business. We do? Right, if you guys could handle that, that'd be fantastic. Now, what about you? You're a soldier. Now, Fisk, do you remember that 
um, we actually had information, uh, you know, in the beginning of the game, which told us that we could tell um, our men by the helmets they wear. Have you noticed anything? Only in the intro did our men wear helmets. Everywhere else, they seem to be pretty unhelmeted. Thought that was going to happen. You good? All right, Chief, i tell you what. Seems you seem like a pretty stand-up guy. We can actually give you nothing. Sorry, Chief. You're just going to have to sit there and chill for a while. All right, let's get you guys to group up. Yep. If you guys... Bloody hell. Things are going a bit wrong here, aren't they? Right. Well, if you guys can just sit here and think about what you've done, think about your life choices, I'm going to get going. Well, we're trying to get this over with. We are trying. We're trying to find a nice little escape vector. And the escape vector that we have is the uh, downstairs uh, elevator. It's not actually downstairs, is it? We have not gone downstairs. We have technically gone upstairs. Right. Now, let's see if we can't sort these guys out up here, because otherwise they're going to be slightly problematic. Got a couple of napalm grenades here. Now, interestingly enough, if we go into first person and shoot these guys, we actually become way more accurate for reasons. All right, this could get worse before it gets better. Um, we don't really want to go down there with these guys because it's probably not going to end that well for us. I wish we could see their health. Right, he's pretty low. I think they're both pretty low on health. Can't quite aim low enough though. All right, let's see if we can't nade them. Uh, not really sure how we would achieve this. All right. Did that get both of them? I think that did. That was reasonably good. Right, one down. If we can get rid of these gribbly fuck nuts whilst we're here, we need to be a little bit careful with our ammo. I know it does seem like we've got a lot, but, you know, we can drain that out pretty quickly. I guess, potentially. Right, another one gone. Little head crab motherfuckers. He's almost dead. Can't quite get an angle on him. Come on. There's no point in hiding. You know what? I'm sure it'll be fine. Just drop down. Waste his ass. There we go. Good enough. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Right. So the computer power is still out. Right. We need an engineer. So let's go get one. Let's go get our team. Oh, evening. That was unfortunate. Okay. We're clear. Are you moaning about the state of this place? Ooh, state of this place again. Look, we've been over this, okay? There's not a lot we can do about the state of this place. We've just got to live with it. We're all going to hold hands, and we should, in theory, all make it out of here. Where's the other one? No, seriously, where's the other one? There was another. There you are. Right, come with me. Yes, sir. All right. Now, let's advance. Keep moving. Hopefully everyone is all healed up and good. Would be nice to find another weapon that we can give our friend. It's just a scratch. Who's got a scratch? Nobody should be scratching anybody. Not without my permission. Ooh. I can hear things at night that freak me out. It's also weird. People are disappearing all the time. 
but I don't know why. What are they doing to us? Why have I been detained? Uh, I've got to get out of this place. There's a panel in the back of my cell which might lead to an air vent. Ah, <laughs> okay. If only I could break it down. There's little hope in that, though. I despair for my chances for survival. Yep, and you were right to despair. Because you're dead. It seems to be a pretty final um, outcome for you, unfortunately. Now, let's get these computers back online if we can. Yep, cool. There we go. Now, what weapons do we have? Yeah, we still just really don't have much. Cool. Let's get these computers back up and running. So, terminal 747, request access code for elevator. Access granted. Code 2710. Have a nice day. Oh, there, it is. there we go. Now we've got our code, we can actually leave. That's useful. Right, hopefully no gribbly mutants are going to be jumping out at us. Just yet. We've still got that rather unfriendly fellow back there. You know what? I'm going to go save the game. Just, you know, in case anything gribbly happens. Right. Much better. Now, what's interesting as well is the actual save screen for the uh, PlayStation 2 version is totally different, which is weird. And I don't think on the PS2 version, I might be wrong, but I don't think you can have multiple saves. But I guess you can always just use different memory cards, I suppose. If you were a money bags back then, anyway. All right. Oh, we've got some weapons here. Nice. So, Fisk, me old mate. Seems you're a soldier. Have that. Uh, yeah, two magazines should be good for him. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is where the game goes a bit weird, and now we have to fight soldiers. Luckily, the soldiers aren't actually up to much. <laughs> Come out so I can kill you. Well, we certainly killed them. Yeah. Ooh. Well. Okay. I thought we actually lost someone there, but I don't think we did. Yeah, the soldiers can actually drain your health really fast. But we ain't going to let it happen. Well, this place seems to be working as intended. Right, what about... Let's leave these guys there. And let's have a look this way. Any mutants from there? No. Yeah, the area does indeed look secure. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Jesus. I don't know where those guys came from. I guess they just spawned in behind us. Fuck. Okay, let's go get healed up. Yeah, uh, no idea where they came from. That That's a little bit sus, if you ask me. Just a scratch? I think you need to reattach my nutsack, lad. A bit more than just a fucking scratch, don't you think? Yes, right, whatever. Let's go this way. And you guys can stay there. This is where things do get a little bit delicate. That's fine. Definitely much easier to fight these guys. There we go. All right. That went relatively smoothly. All right, everybody stay cool. At least, these, at least these guys do drop ammo. Which is pretty good of them. And they do kind of act like the standard 
brainless goons. Now, we need to be very careful yes, here. Sir. Because we've got a gun turret. And if you're wondering to yourself if this gun turret does a lot of damage, it does. It does a crazy amount of damage. As you can see. But, oof. Wait. Has he killed all of my men? I mean, that's pretty bad. No, the two idiots are still back here. Guys, they should help. it should help, should it? Good. Well, I'm glad. Yes, sir. I like the fact that it should help. That does please me. Right, stay there, idiots. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, you guys should be staying put. Now, let's see if we can't take this thing out. There we go. Whew. Those things are a little bit spicy. All right, patch me up, Doc. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree with you on that one. All right, what else we got here? Another machine gun. It's more ammo. Uh, you know, it's fine. Need to be a little bit careful. Yeah, you guys stay here. Okay. I'll go do the heavy lifting. Evening. What would event be without some of these griblies? All right. So, ooh. Oh. Um. That's not fantastic, is it? Oh. <laughs> we are dead, apparently. Uh, I don't remember that happening last time. But what do I know, I guess? Oof. Okay, cool. Right. <laughs> I realize what happened. We need to run like a mofo. Because this place is about to get hot. Um, apparently ridiculously hot. There we go. Okay, cool. So, uh, things are going badly. Uh, we're going to use a med kit. We're going to use several med kits. There we go. And hopefully not die. Oh, jeez. That was some pretty intense action right there. This is fine. This is fine. I'm going to use another med kit. Okay, ammo is still pretty tight, to be honest. But there's nothing we can do about that. I'll grab a fire extinguisher. Yeah, we'll find out how the switches are activated. Don't you worry your little head about that. Now in here, there's some more med kits, which we are absolutely going to be taking advantage of. Uh, in fact, might be a good idea to... Oh, is that... Ah, unfortunate. Okay, so there is only a finite amount of med kits in there. Hey, boys! You're going to be getting pretty uh, pretty toasty soon. Uh, so we've got a save point there, but we can't use that just yet. Uh, this area is extremely dark, but it's not a huge amount we can do about that right now. We can't go through there. We need That's one of the switches that opens that. So we need to go repair this place. This place is in pretty poor condition to be honest and you know what else is in poor condition our ammo supply our ammo supply is really not doing so well wow we had our back up against the wall there huh okay so let's bust this open burn the room leave nothing alive and then in here we can do something similar. Things are looking a little bit rough. Can we aggro the guys? Come on. Okay. Weird. Seriously? Alright. I guess that's a bug. But we'll take it, I suppose. Curious. Let's go up and around. 
can grab some goodies. Take you. There we go. Yep. Little gribbly fucker hiding up there. Yeah, these guys are supposed to be jumping down on us. Don't ask me why they're not. But then, you know, I'm not going to get that upset about it, I'll be honest. Cool. So that's got us some goodies. We are really getting low on ammo, though. But that's okay. Now let's start repairing some cables. Let's get the pressure tank back A-OK. -okay. Back in business. Now, what else do we need here? Now we've got another door to sort out. Hopefully, the fire's burnt out in here. Everything back under control. Cool. Right, let's go turn this boy back on. Alright, now everything should be back in somewhat decent working order. So we can go back. Ooh. Something was vibrating on my controller. Not sure what that was about. Now we can fry these bastards. Alright. Mm -mm -mm. I love the smell of crispy bastards in the morning. Damn right. Ah, listen to that. Music to my ears. Now what we are going to do is get our fire extinguisher out. Come back down this uh, corridor. That's interesting. So back here is not on fire anymore. Huh. Well, at least the fire took out Matey Boy this time. And not just us. Yeah, that was uh, another weird vibration in the controller. I don't know if that's the game telling me something or if it's just telling me that the controller's fully charged. I don't know. I don't know. Let's unplug the chat. Unplug it. Because that's kind of putting me off. Whenever I feel like a vibration like that in the controller, I'm like, ooh, does that mean there's enemies nearby? Oh, no, it's still doing it. So, ha! I don't know, Chief. Right, so, room three. Let's pop open room three. You know what? Let's pop them all open, to be fair. Just for prosperity. Now, let's go back through here. Oh, I don't know why. Like, the way... The way the fire kind of works is absolutely broken. Um... Yeah, I don't get it. You you will have a bad time with this fire. Okay. Well, he's crispy. Extra crispy. And he? Well, he's Bob. Just Bob. All right, boys. Did you miss me? Because okay. not going to lie, I kind of missed you. All right, let's go. Stay here. I'll find a way around. No, 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 no. There's no need to stay here. Okay, we've already been over this. No, dude, stop. Look, he's already dead, mate. You don't need to decorate his body with your chuck. I mean, come on, have some respect for the dead. Right, can you get to work on this, please? You're, yes, you're a good egg. Right, what have we got here? Ammo. Not a lot of ammo, but ammo. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, uh, we are only on 24 minutes, but we're kind of out of time because I've got a lot to do and I'm going to a brewery later, which, yeah, uh, <laughs> hopefully it'll be a lot less eventful than last time I went out. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.